Hello, I'm here to explain to you what is math. A lot of people don't know about the origins of math, so I'm going to tell you what they are. Math was invented in 1842. It was originally an outdoor clothing store, and they sold lots of things like jackets and hats, all right, that look like shoes. Now, around the turn of 1907, four years after the Wright brothers flew the first airplane, um, the math was changed into a way of currency, so that way they could know how much money to give people. Instead of saying, oh, I'd like a blue blob of dollar bills, they could say, I want two dollar bills. Well then, things started getting complicated when people wanted to give two dollar bills and then another dollar bill. They didn't know how to put those together. And so they were like, Dad, what do I do? And Dad was like, hey, you switch those two letters, now we've got add. And that's how adding came to be. Well, the A in adding also represents the A in math because math stands for me adding to he. It means you're adding money to someone else. And it's usually a male because back in that day, women couldn't vote. I don't agree with that because women are cool and they're pretty. So we should let them vote. That way we can have more cool and pretty things. Go team, America. Now, a lot of people don't know around 1968 was a big change in the world of math. That's whenever I wrote this down and then I sent it to you guys in the future because there was no YouTube back in 1968. So I put this in a QE on something called a computer back then. But back then, computers were the size of a whole building. All right? So I chose the Empire State Building, put it in the very, very top. Now, while I was in the top, I was up there and I saw a bad guy. It was evil Sylvester Stallone. Not the good one that you see in movies. Evil Sylvester Stallone. He is much meaner than the good Sylvester Sloan. That's why he's mean, and we call him evil. That's a nickname. It stands for not nice. So, evil Sylvester Sloan was up there, and I was trying to implant this video so you guys would know the history of math, because it's hard to run something through time when there's no YouTube. So I said, hey, Sylvester Stallone, what are you doing up there? And he was like, and I was like, oh, that's enough, you're not gonna stop me. And so we fight all day long and all night long. We fought for seven days and seven nights. And then I finished him off because I picked him up in the air and threw him off the outside of the building. But I wasn't gonna hurt him, so I did that thing that Batman did in The Dark Knight Rises, and I threw down a batarang and caught him by the foot, and he pulled off his mask. He said, I'm not Sylvester Sloan. I'm a <laughs> boy, Mickey, I'm Mickey Mouse. And I was like, Mickey Mouse, why are you trying to stop me from sharing the world of math to everybody in the world? And he goes, well, because I don't like math. I want to make it mash. You know that thing where you, uh, like, say you live in a house and you choose who you live and it's like that whole thing where you pick all the things and you do the little swirly things, you know? You know what I'm talking about. I was big in the late 90s for little kids in elementary school. And so he was like, oh, boy, I think it's what you would do. Huh? And I was like, oh, toodles. And he came and picked up Mickey and took him back to Florida where he belonged. And then I just uploaded the video, and then what do you know, like, I don't know, 40, 50, something, I don't know how many years later, math's hard. Um, you guys have the video, so they're the secrets of the world. Subscribe to my channel if you get a chance, and watch, what? Okay, here he comes. Tyler, thank you. Subscribe if you can. Bye-bye.